Welcome to Crash Magic and in today's video we've got a tutorial for a card trick performance that I did a couple of weeks ago. That video was called Colour Separation and a few of you asked if I could show how it was done. It's totally self-working and you can involve your spectators in the handling of the cards and I think it's one of the best uses of the Gilbreth principle. In this trick then your spectators are going to see a pack of cards being shuffled and also being shown the faces of the cards after so they can see that the cards are well mixed. A spectator will then split the cards into two piles, one face down and one face up and then the spectator will work together either with the magician or another spectator to split the face up cards into red and black while simultaneously splitting the face down cards. Finally, the magician can incredibly reveal that not only the face up cards but also the face down cards have been perfectly separated into red and black. Before you start showing this trick to anyone then you need to set up the pack. All the cards in the pack need to be in alternating red black order like this. It doesn't make any difference if you start with red or black at the top of the pack as long as all the colours then alternate. And that's the setup done and you're ready to perform. To begin then you're going to do a riffle shuffle. Now the key thing here is you must make sure the bottom card of each of your two poles is a different colour. So here in this case I can glimpse and see that we've got a red here. So when I split the cards to do the riffle shuffle I need to make sure the bottom card of this pile is black. So we've got different colours on each of the two piles. If you split the cards and you get the same colour, so we've got two reds here, just when you separate them if you see they're different you can just separate again until you get a different colour as, as you're talking about the trick. So here we've got two different colours, red and black, so we're safe to riffle shuffle the cards together. And the nice thing is it doesn't matter how good or bad you are at riffle shuffling the cards, the trick will still work. And at this point I then like to spread the cards out face up so the spectators can see that the cards are well mixed. Then you can hand the cards to a spectator and you ask them to deal the cards into two piles, face down and face up, face down, face up and ask them to go all the way through the pack of cards doing this so there's quite a lot of card handling in this trick that can be done by the spectators which is always nice last few cards then there we go so the next thing to do is place the face up pile of cards in front of your spectator and then you can either place the face down cards either in front of yourself or another spectator. So then the two spectators or the spectator and yourself are going to work together. So the spectator with the face up cards is going to create a, a black and a red pile of cards. So they're going to take their first card, in this case it's a black, and put it here. And so simultaneously you're going to put the first face down card in the opposite pile, so here. The spectator will take their card, this one's a red, so they're going to put their card on this pile and you put the face down card on the opposite pile. Next card's a black, so they're going to put it on the black pile and you put a face down card on this pile. And you can start slowly like this, but once you both get into the, into the swing of this, you can do this um, quite quickly. Of course you've just got to make sure that every time they're putting their coloured card, red or black, on the correct pile and then you put your card on the opposite pile. So if we work all the way through these cards doing this, it's obviously a lot easier when you're uh, just dealing or handling one pile rather than two piles like I'm doing here. Okay, last few to go. And the last one. So we can square up these two piles. So once this has been done, we can spread the piles out like this. And this is now a great time to go through exactly what has happened up to this point. That the cards were shuffled 
and were seen to be well mixed, that the spectator had split them into a pile of face up and face down cards, that the face up cards were then split into reds and blacks while the face down cards were simultaneously split, and here on the table then are all the reds and blacks separated by the spectator, so these are all the face up cards, the black ones and the red ones that the spectator dealt. But now we can turn over the two piles and spread them out to show that amazingly all the face down cards have also been perfectly separated by colour. Well that is the end of this tutorial and I hope you found it useful and that maybe this is a trick that you're going to try. If you did like it please give the video a like. If you've got any comments leave them down below and see you soon.